Hi, so this video is a complete introduction to web design. Now the reason why I'm creating this video and hopefully the ones to follow are because when I was trying to learn web design on my own, I found two types of videos and that was it. Now one type was so detailed I would get lost and the other type was not detailed enough so I really didn't know what they were doing so I got lost. Um, in both cases actually there were they both had this really drony voice that also made it very very hard not to zone out. So I'm going to try to um, create a video which is really for beginners but not so detailed that you kind of get lost because the truth is a lot of the extra detail that they put in you don't need to know. So um, this is what I'm going to do. Now you might be wondering why I have a word processor open. This is called Notepad++. Um, and the truth is this is what a website is. You actually have documents that are created and then the internet reads it and spits it back out as a website. Now I'm actually going to pull up a piece of work that I had done. Now this is it and this as you can see is a website. I could click on pages and it will change. Now the reason why the first one didn't change is because that's what I was on um, and I was stupid and clicked it. <laughs> now see so this is actually a website. Now it, this is what you see, this is what you're used to seeing, but if you click on it, right click on it, and then you click background image, no, there should be one for source, ah, view page source, and then this is what you actually have in the background. This is what the internet's reading to pull up this. So that's what we're actually going to be creating today. Oh, no, not that one. <laughs> this is what we're going to be creating today. This is called HTML. So. I know it kind of looks complex, it's really, really not, it's pretty simple, uh, very, very easy to use. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So this is a word processor, as I'm sure you know. Now the reason why we do this is, as I said, you create everything in a document, so you want a word processor to, you know, work in. Now there are really three main word processors that people seem to really use, or at least that I've come across. So there's um, Notepad, which is just what you get with the Mac, I think you get it with Mac. I know you for sure get it with Windows. So that is just a blank document. I will even pull it up just to show you. Ah, oh, it wants me to update again. Okay, uh, sorry, let's see. Access, and here we go, Notepad. Now, uh, they look pretty similar, as you can see, except for the problem is, is that this is really not detailed and I could write anything in it and I could create a document in it and that's fine but it's kind of nicer if it's more geared towards you know web design so that's where notepad plus plus comes in it is as you can see pretty like it's more detailed it's not super complex and it is geared towards web design so um, that is nice and then of course there is the all famous Dreamweaver so that I actually have here and the reason why I'm not, um, here are files that I used, uh, the reason why I'm not working in Dreamweaver is simply because um, I don't want people to think that they need to use Dreamweaver and also as you're writing stuff Dreamweaver kind of just pulls it up kind of like um, you know when you use like text message and kind of the information would start popping up like the rest of the word that's what it does with Dreamweaver so it starts to realize what you're doing and it kind of narrows down your search for you so you don't even need to fully type it which honestly is wonderful and great and I love it but for beginners it's often like not something that you want to get used to you want to know how to hard code this if you don't have Dreamweaver and not to mention Dreamweaver is expensive so um, whereas regular Notepad or Notepad++ are free now, if you want to download, download, sorry, if you want to download Notepad++, you can go to www.downloads.cnet.com, I think, and just get it off there. So, and that's what I did. So now, I have my Notepad++ open. Um, if you don't, all you have to do is new document. You might even just be able to open it with it. Now, okay, so. First things first, I want to tell this document, you are not going to be a regular document. You are going to be an HTML document. You are going to read. Now, um, if you don't know what HTML is, it's actually the language that the website reads, that the internet reads. So here, um, I'm not sure if I pointed this out, but view source, this is all HTML and 
XHTML, which I will explain in my next video, the difference between the two. There really is very, very slight difference, and you don't need to pay attention to that right now. So I want to tell this it's an HTML document. So I use this little opening um, thing. I forget what it's called, whether it's uh, greater than or smaller than, because I always forget. But uh, we'll just call it a little opening thing. And then I click HTML and then I close it with its opposite. Now this is called a tag and HTML is just completely built up of tags. There is, that's all it is, is tags. So now the thing is you kind of needed to tell it when to stop being an HTML document. So you do the same thing except for you have this slash here and this tells any HTML thing you're done, you're closed, that's it. Otherwise, you could have problems where it just keeps thinking that it's the same thing and you have problems. So, HTML, and I close it. Now, you could think of this kind of like a book cover. So, this is the opening cover, and this is the closing cover, and everything else is in between. So, I'm just going to do a number of spaces. Now, the next thing you have to have is the um, head, doc head tag. Now, don't ask me why it's called the head tag, because I honestly don't know. Uh, you know, I could really tell you what most of the other things stand for and why they're called what they're called, but this is just one that I've never been able to understand. And I, but I can tell you what it does. So the head document, uh, the head tag, and anything that goes in between here, you don't see. It's all kind of the background stuff. Like, um, if you know what JavaScript is, you would put uh, some of the commands in here if you want to connect other files. Um, as you will see in other videos, you kind of you put a lot of information in here. This is kind of really the background stuff. This is not what you see on screen. This is kind of what the browser reads, so without you seeing it. But the one thing you do see is the title tag, and I'm just going to create that and show you what it does. So I'm going to call this document or this website lesson one. So one. And I'm going to just pull this up and first I'm going to save it actually because it won't read anything unless it's saved. So I'm going to do save as, I'll put this on my desktop and lesson one. Now the really important thing to do is when you save this you have to do .html because if you don't it will read it as a txt file and you have some trouble on your hands. So I'm just going to do save and then I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to pull up lesson one and if you see right here in the title bar it says lesson one if it was blank it would say just not have anything or anything you put in it for instance in my other document it's mocha membership that's my title bar now I'm gonna go back to this and now we just don't want it to be a completely blank document right we want it to actually have information instead of just being all this white stuff so we need to create the body tag. So it's kind of like body paragraphs when you write an essay. You kind of, this is the in between, this is all the information that you're going to have show up on screen. So I'm just going to paste my information in. This is what we have from my Mocha thing. Now, uh, in case you don't know, Mocha is Museum of Comic, no, Cartoon and Comic Art. I think that's what it is. So now, if we save this, Control S, it's really good to know key commands, by the way. Um, it comes in really helpful. So if I go back to here and I just refresh this, you see it comes up. All the information is now here. If I were to put this in the header, nothing would come up. In fact, I think I'm, no, I won't bother to show you. Um, you could try that on your own if you want. So, but the thing is, if you notice, everything just kind of goes right into each other. It's a complete mess. It's just a whole bunch of words jumbled up into a paragraph and we don't want that that's really messy so we want it to look more like this or um, as you can see on my other one more like this so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to use HTML to do this so uh, the three things well three or four things that we are going to be using here are headers because you want everything to kind of have a title to go by size you know it just keeps things really clean we're going to use paragraphs and we are going to use lists now we're going to use both ordered and an ordered list and I know this might sound confusing but I will explain it don't worry 